Hey YouTubers and RV fans, today on the Paddy Wagon we're going to do a little bit of cooking. A little bit of RV cooking. Now you know that my channel really isn't focused on cooking in the RV, but today we're going to make chicken fajitas in the air fryer. So stay tuned. Alright, before I can make chicken fajitas I gotta go shopping, but let me just show you the the uh, appliance I'm going to use to do the chicken fajitas. This is Avalon Bay Air Fryer. Now I've not really used an air fryer before, but um, I got a chance to cook in this last night. And wow, what a what a neat little convenient appliance to have. So today we're going to go ahead and do some chicken fajitas, and um, I'm going to use this this uh, pot here that fits nicely in here. And I'm going to brown off the chicken first. And then I'm going to put the vegetables in and cook it all together. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So we're going to have to go to the grocery store and get some food. So come on hey guys, along with so me. I'm out here at the Fresh fun. Market. Got to get some stuff for my fajitas today. See you in a minute. Okay, let's see. We need some. Oh, I like this cut up stuff a lot better. Fajita kit. How perfect is a fajita kit? Seven bucks. Ooh. All right, we'll do it. We'll do it. So we got $1.99 for peppers. So by the time I buy two or three peppers, two, four, six, and then some onions, I guess we're at $6.99. All right. Okay, so I'm getting one of the breast cutlets. And that should take care of my fajitas. I don't often come to the Whole Foods store, Fresh Market. So when I do come here, I like to kind of look around a little bit and see what other stuff they have. So they sure have a lot of selection of beers. Of course, we're in Asheville, so pretty cool. Pretty cool. A lot of times they have some low-carb alternatives, too, so that's pretty cool. Okay, I found the, um, the Garden Veggies um, wraps. They're low in carbs. They have a total of 12 grams of carbohydrates, uh, of which 7 is dietary fiber. So the net carbs is pretty low. I guess I'm going to get this, and these cost $3.99. Okay guys, so I'm all done with the Fresh Market, and I got everything I need for the chicken fajitas. So we're heading out. That's a nice store. Expensive as hell though. Woo! Yeah, I think sticking to Walmart's okay. Although it is nice to go to a Fresh Market once in a while. So, fresh market here at Asheville, not too bad. The people are very okay, friendly. there's a few things I like to do when I get home. Obviously, I need to put the groceries away, but these can stay out for a bit, although I did get some chicken salad. But I'm gonna get the canopy out. I never leave the canopy out when I'm not at home. So let's go put the canopy out. There's been a lot of rain here in North Carolina over the last three days. So when I leave, I like to put the canopy back in. But as you can see, it's looking a bit cloudy out there. So at least I'll be home in case something happens. Now I do have the remote control. It's been acting a little funky lately. But let's see if it's gonna work. Yes. Yes, I think it will. All right, I think I talked a little bit about the Avalon Bay Air Fryer, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little summary on this. So it has a timer right here, and the timer really helps to obviously set the time, and then you have your temperature, and then you have your little cooking surface area, which is in this drawer. Now this comes with a cooking pot, which we're gonna use for our fajitas today. And then of course it has an air fryer area here. So when you're doing, let's say, french fries or grilled cheese or whatever you want to do in here with some bread or whatnot, you should be able to use this space 
um, for that. Now I cooked, last night I cooked a steak and I put the holder in there and I put the steak on top of it and I cooked it for about 10 minutes at 360 and it was magnificent. It was the best steak I had in a while. And the nice thing about it is you don't get grease everywhere. It goes right back in and the cooking is all contained, which is very nice. And as you can see, it's lightweight. It's not really heavy. It's all. space conserving because it does. It fits very nicely on my kitchen counter without any. Yeah. Problem. So let me just give you a few specifics. The voltage on this is 120 volts, or 1300 watts. Um, the temperature control ranges from 210 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The timer um, has an allowance of 30 minutes. It it can cook up to 2.5 liters of food. It has a non-stick basket, and it is it is dishwasher so, safe. Let's see how well this thing cooks the fajitas because I'm really interested in knowing. All right, so the first part of the cooking process here is going to be the meat. So after you wash your hands, I'm going to go ahead and pull the chicken breast out of the packaging. Get rid of that. And we want to cut the chicken up into cubes. Let's get rid of that. This is a nice um, fillet of cutlet breast here, and I'm just going to go ahead and slice that up so I can go ahead and get that into cubes. It's nice to be up here in Asheville. It's beautiful, eclectic, lovely place. Um, as you know, I lived up here for a very long time when I was raising the kids, and it's always nice to come back and visit. Okay. So the recipe calls for us to put a, a tiny bit of olive oil in the um, pan. But I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the chicken in this bowl here. And I'm going to basically coat the chicken with, um, with olive oil and some spices. So let's get those spices out. So let's go ahead and put a little olive oil in there. A little bit of nature seasoning, a little bit of cavenders. We'll do a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Now remember, I'm no chef. So if you're going to make nasty comments in the comments, just be nice. Because... <laughs> Alright, I'm going to mix these all around. I'm going to get these all nice and coated with the oil and with the spices. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and simply put them in the the stain of the um, the Teflon pan that comes with the air. Fryer. All right, through the magic of video, everything's washed up and cleaned up. Our hands are all clean, and the work surfaces are all clean. And so, the um, recipe book that comes with the Avalon Bay air fryer tells me that I have to put the chicken in the container here, which I've already done, as you can see. And we want to plug it in as it is plugged in. And we want to set it for 400 degrees for eight minutes. I think that's eight minutes. That's a little bit. There we go. Eight minutes. So we're going to go ahead and set it. I'll come back in about eight minutes and show you what it looks like. And I just wanted to show you this. This is a rock I received from uh, Mike and Dawn before they left called Black Eyed Peas. That's our are uh, saying kind of a inside joke a little bit from our time at Lambert's in Alabama but anyway um, such a sweet gesture for Dawn to paint this for me and uh, I really miss them guys and I'm looking forward to reconnecting back with them in Louisiana all right guys we'll be back in about seven minutes all righty while we're cooking the chicken let's go ahead and slice up the fajita kit which is a mixture of green, red, and yellow peppers, and some onions. First, let me get a, a spoon. So as you can see here, the chicken looks good. In fact, I would venture to say the chicken almost looks like it's done. Well, they got a, there's a couple of pieces in there I probably need to cook some more. But we want to cook it for an additional eight minutes so 
before we, we put the vegetables in, we want to finish making sure that everything's cut up. And then we want to go ahead and slide the vegetables in. And I'm going to go ahead and spoon in the vegetables. Now that looks really pretty. All right. Now we're going to put that back in for another eight minutes at 400 degrees. And I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, the timer went off, and we're going to go ahead and pull out the um, the basket. So I'm going to set you up right here, and hopefully you can see everything. The basket comes out nice and neatly with this little handle. And we can put the big basket back in. And this is what the chicken fajitas look like. Now, don't they look great? Look at the, all the color. The chicken's nicely done, nicely roasted. And you would never expect this from an air fryer, at least I wouldn't. This, this looks really nice. So, we're gonna go ahead and put a tortilla in, and we're gonna see what happens when we do that. Um, I don't have a recipe for that, so let's just, let's just play. Let's see what happens. We'll put a tortilla in there and it's hot. So you wanna be real careful. I think we're gonna bring that down to 320 and let's just put that on for a minute or so. Oh, that looks really good. Very nicely cooked. Now let's go ahead and put some of our fajita mix on this nicely cooked tortilla. Oh, this looks really sweet. Mm -hmm. And there you have it, folks. You got a beautiful done um, fajita, completely, completely cooked in the Avalon Bay air fryer. Nice and sleek, easy, convenient, portable, perfect for RV life, perfect for campus life purpose for a perfect perfect for apartment living i don't know about you but i'm keeping this thing this is wonderful all right guys don't forget if you're interested in uh, maybe purchasing one of the avalon bay air fryers click um, in the description you'll see a link use the coupon code patty wagon and you can get a 15 percent discount all right guys thanks so much for hanging out with me today it's been a pleasure